Now, if you don't want to be in the video, hi. If you don't give a shit, that's fine. So start a little closer and then back up. Just in there. Huh? You're just in there. Okay, that's fine. Start and stop. Okay. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Guess what? You can do a Von Flu choke standing. You can do a lot of choke standing, people don't realize it, especially for MMA purposes or street fighting purposes. Anytime your head gets trapped in a guillotine, a good thing to do is hangman defense anyway. So for MMA, I cut him off the cage. A lot of times you'll see guys throw bullshit or BS, excuse me, to enter. Or they throw an overhand right to enter. I enter, boom, and I get trapped. Drive right through the cage. I should be doing hangman defense anyway. From here, just because we're standing, everyone like does this and plays with single legs and looks straight behind us. Meanwhile, I was right to my back. He has a high elbow guillotine, that's what I'm going to tap out. He's good with high elbow. So I should be in here, and I boom. Go out of get your hands together, drive up and in with your shoulder, and there we go. So I want to go in at a 45 degree vector, up and in. Get your hands together however you can, Gable grip, three finger grip, whatever. Just get your hands together, make sure you got a leg to make sure you're driving off this back foot. So we're rolling out here, boom, I kind of enter because I want to get cage time, but I get trapped in with beats. Whoa, drive in that cage, get your hands together, and drive in. Okay? Now, you should be able to get him. Just cook the guy. As long as you're good with your body pressure, you should be able to tap him out just like you do on the ground. You don't have gravity on your side, but you have drive, he's isolated, and you can go at a 45 upward vector. If for some reason you can't tap him there, cook him for 12, 13, 14 seconds, and then slam him and finish it on the ground. You're passing guard. So I'm here. Boom, I'm cooking him, cooking him, cooking him. Oh my god, I I'm cooking him, trying to press over. He's got some nice posture there. Tell him his chin is up, I think. So my shoulder's not really in the stirrup. So now I'm going to hop the, the inside pin leg to the outside of this leg. Drop down, scoop him, slide him, get the hands back together, turn your chin into the ribs, and then drop the shoulder. Whether it's there or whether it's there. Whether at the end, sometimes guys, they maybe have their chin down a little bit. Occasionally, you'll have to then scissor your legs the other direction for that little extra pressure. Try to get it standing though. And that's it, guys. It's Levon Flucho, and uh, now you can do it standing, so that's what's fun.